So even though I've only been shooting with the Olympus system for a few months, I've been asked to put five images together that are kind of my favourites. And it's a bit early in my Olympus career to do that, but uh, I've tried to pick five images that I think you will enjoy. Well, you know I love tigers, and predictably, there are not one, but two in this top five. And here's the first. This is a tigress called Arrowhead, four and a half years old, much loved. We went over this year because she has cubs, and we thought, brilliant, we're going to get the cubs. And she decided to be completely elusive and not show us the cubs, which is very unlike her, because she's the most friendly cat that you can actually imagine. One of the few times I saw her is here. She was on the side of the road, um, and I saw the potential for the shot. There was great light on the road, but she was in the dark, standing in the dark, and I knew if you come out onto the road, uh, it'll be amazing. It'll be a black background, it'll be this beautifully lit tiger. I darken the ex uh, exposure by minus two in the viewfinder. Of course, it's mirrorless, so I can see what I'm doing. Um, I think I shot it with a 300 F4. She came out, she paused, she looked, bang, 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 I'm done. She walked across, vanished for the next five days. That's the way it is in tiger photography. You've got to take your opportunities when you get them. That's the name of the game with experience. So I do a lot of personal projects now, and big one I'm doing is the wolf. This is my favorite image I've taken this year of wolves because it shows the wolf as I want to show it in an atmospheric, low light, finished forest. The sun had just come up, the wolf appeared, it was raking across the forest. I thought, you know what, it's gonna be one of these low key images again. So I darkened it again, maybe even by minus three stops. The light on the wolf's face was so strong and so intense, it was in the best place it could be, and yet the body was slightly in the darkness. I didn't really want to show the body, I wanted to pick up the hint of a tree, uh, which is what I did there. It's 300 F4, so 600 uh, on the um, EM1X. Uh, I processed it a little bit to give it a curve and a bit of life maybe in the eye, but that's all, probably took about two minutes. Uh, but I love these kind of atmospheric images because for me, that's what a wolf is all about. Now this one was taken the first night that I picked up the new Olympus system, so I didn't really know how to use it. I was a complete muppet using it. Um, so it was a wonder that I got anything, and I think the Olympus forgave my ineptitude. Um, its autofocus is superb. When it locks on, it stays locked on. So when the cuckoo was flying around, I was able to track it. All of a sudden it went from being front lit to back lit, I was able to darken exposure immediately in camera by minus three stops, the AF locked on, boom, this really great atmospheric shot of a cuckoo flying, very unusual, and how beautiful is that? And that's right, we have beautiful species like this right here in the UK. Boom, boom, and boom, I love polar bears, and this image was my favorite of the whole trip. It shows the wonderful play between a mother and her yearling cub was taken with a 600 with a 1.4 um, on it, 300 rather, 600, 1.4 uh, on the EM1X. ISO was about 800 and about F8, I think, because I wanted a reasonable depth of field. I don't want to isolate it. I want to show the ice all around it. I put it in the middle of the frame. The light was exquisite. There was this sunset behind it. It was just superb. Uh, and of course the fast motor drive, 15 frames a second, I captured every single moment I wanted and I picked this one up because I thought it just showed the interaction between the mother and the cub so beautifully. And I'm so lucky as a professional in my lifestyle to see things like this. And I do count my lucky stars every single day, but it doesn't help me win the lottery. Finally, a tiger, another tiger I hear what you say. Well, this is a very atmospheric one. It's very difficult to get atmospheric pictures of tigers because normally in the nicest light of the day, you don't find them, they hide. This is one of those rare times when the, tiger, the tigress came out in the open, the beautiful raking light was behind it. Rather than zooming and ruining the shot, I zoomed out, uh, it's taken with the 40 to 150 to eight, which is an 80 to 300. Um, it was taken slightly wider, probably on around 150, so halfway along. So nice light around it, nice raking light, nice backlight, nice colors, a very different tiger image of a wonderful animal. And that wraps up my top five Olympus. Come back in a year's time and perhaps I'll have some more for you.